Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in once again. Can you actually believe it? There is three wins in a row. Ah, Tainted Job isn't really my jam today. Let's do the Forgotten. I'm more into the Forgotten. Let's give him a go. I, 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 I don't want to just take whoever I first get. Uh, I'm not specifically trying to make it easier on myself as such. Ooh, old dice off the bat's pretty darn good. Old dice essentially is um, the ability to re-roll, but you only get one chance. You can't keep re-rolling. So when you pick something up, you can re-roll it. But it also works on actives too, which is pretty darn interesting. Basically, if we pick up an active and then use it straight away, it will, um, if I remember correctly, it, it will, oopsie, I can't believe I got hit there. Um, it will actually make sure that we can um, re-roll the active as well. So it's going to be pretty damn useful, I'll, I'll be honest. It's a, it's a really, really good... Um... Oh, God. A little bit tricky here. I'm going to be a little cautious. Okay, you, you do your thing. You do your little spray. Okay. Let's not lose a burn heart here, because that would be just a, tra a travesty of the highest order. But yeah, it's going to be good for just re-rolling various things. I don't know. I was just about to say, I don't know what this guy does, so I'm just going to keep my distance. I'm hoping I get a red heart out of one of these poops at least. We got a penny. Damn it. Please don't lose the burn heart. That would be so idiotic of me. So okay, one of these fires will definitely give us a heart. If I keep saying it, I will will it into existence, I promise you. Right. Bomb this real quick. Grab that. And then I guess we just play it normally pretty much. And don't worry about the burn heart all too much. Can you stop spawning a million of these? Actually, to be honest, this little section here doing this... Not too bad at all, because we can kill the um, pooters as soon as they come alive. And then this, we just use our burn body. God damn, I'm getting so stressed right now. We use our burn body to do this. And I'm, this is another item here that I can re-roll as well. Pretty happy about that. Right, give me that. Yeah, uh, we did get cube of rot, which is a little bit better than cube of meat. Um, poisons on contact block projectiles, but I think I'm going to... Do that regardless, and we got a burn heart out of it, so honestly super happy with that. We'll carry on down the normal path for now. Yeah, I'm going to try not to lose my burn hearts if possible. As for the question of the day, what is something that you've given someone that you regret giving them? What is something that you've given to someone that you really regret giving them? Whether it be something that you, um... I, I already know what someone's answer, Pedro. <laughs> Pedro, I know what your answer's going to be to this already. It's been your answer to a few of the questions of the day already. I apologise for bringing up... Set memories for you but um i think this is a good one because there's quite a lot of different um of different things that it could be about for me it's not like i gave someone something i earned and like regretted not having it anymore it's more so that um i was at a dinner party at my that my parents were hosting and we had our next door neighbors over um and they i think they're romanian um why, could I, why does it say I can re-roll in this room? Odd. Um, they were Romanian, I believe. And yeah, I um, I kind of made a made a wrong assumption that, that caused a little bit of pain. Basically, um, I'm really, really into my hot food. You, you guys probably know this. And hot sauce especially. I have some ludicrously hot sauces in my possession. Uh, some that are just, like, obscene. Like absolutely crazy if, unless you are really really into incredibly spicy food it is a, a big no-go for most people and um the the husband I, I i said to him like i was having some and he was like oh what's that uh, i really like hot food i can try it out and he uh, he had it and he took it like an absolute champ he just ate it he was like oh that was delicious um and that was pretty much it so he he just he just ate it like a champ he went right through it um and this was like about half an hour before the the, the real regret because um, about half an hour later, um, the wife was like, "Oh, do you know what? I'll try some. I, I'm Romanian. We eat hot food there. I'll uh, I'll try some hot food. I like it." Bad, bad idea. <laughs> she was not prepared. I mean, I, I feel like 
I thoroughly warned. I was very, very um, insistent about my warning. This is another one I'll reroll. Bob's Curse is not too bad. Um, yeah, I was very insistent about the fact that it is going to be insane. Like, don't don't think this isn't going to be, like, hot because it'll be crazy. Um, I think we take Tarot Cloth here and we get Spawns 2 Batteries. Spawns 4 Batteries. Not that we need them, but there you go. Um, yeah, I'll pop through here. Hopefully get at least one. Oh, we've got a Relax. That could be good. No. At least one Blackout out of this, but no. No Blackouts. We did get a health down, though. Ooh. Ooh, that is... That, that hurts. That hurts. I did not like that at all. That was rude, game. A health down. That... Ooh. That... As this character, that's horrible. But yeah. I, I thoroughly warned. And I was like, hey, this is going to be really, really, really hot. Be prepared for that. It's going to be insane. And this person was um, ill-prepared. I kind of... Oh my god. I actually don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to take it as my soul version just in case. Yeah, so it doesn't convert my burn hearts, which I don't even think it can do, but... That is an, a fantastic item. From next floor onwards... Do you know what? I'm going to blow this guy up. From next floor onwards, we get three free hits a floor. Very strong. Very, very strong. Um... And she had it, and it, it blew her mouth. It blew her mouth off. She was she was not having a good time. She went really, really red, and for literally like an hour, she was having trouble. And I felt so bad. And my parents were having a go at me, like, "Why did you give it to her?" But I was like, "I warned her, and I gave her it." And she, she said she could handle it. And her husband was like, kind of not egging me on, but like he was saying it was okay for her to have. And oh, I just regretted it so hard. GMO corn, certainly a tricky one, uh, but I'll give it a go. Oh, that was a pretty lucky telepills, to be honest. Baby Blue, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, old dice is so fun. Especially for someone that's okay with taking question mark items like me. Someone that's a bit of a gambler. You get to gamble a lot more often, and I like that a lot. Oh, for, really? You have to fight this guy? I despise fighting this boss. He's a very, very cool boss, but I suck at him. I find him so difficult. Just the amount of ads that he spawns is just ridiculous. <laughs> As this character wasn't too bad at all. Oh, you're going to stay alive, are you? Okay. Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. Right, we didn't manage to get an additional key to go into our um, thingy room. Oh, wait, we're, we're able to bomb into it. I'm stupid. Oh, that's one of our free hits, though. I thought it didn't activate until the next floor, but that might have been fixed. Seems like it did activate this floor. That should save us quite a lot, though. Very good item to get early on. Hey, and there's a good bit of money. Um, I could take Piggy Bank, I suppose. But I think I'd rather just save my money for a better opportunity. Later down the line. I love Baby Pluto. He is my baby. He is my child. Now I just need, like, a, a heckin' big range upgrade, and I'll be pretty happy. Let's keep her going down the normal path here. Um, we haven't done Beast, so we might go Beast. Although Forgotten to the Beast is a little bit tricky. It is a little bit tricky. And what we got here. This is pretty good considering we got Tarot Cloth. Um, we got this, which I don't think that's going to work for us. So I might uh, use our old dice on that. Right, uh... Count with your tears, yeah, I'll definitely re-roll that. And we got Bursting Sack, which isn't particularly good, but it's it's better than the other things. I'm not going to be able to count with my tears, I promise you that. Oh, we get um, a Hero Font card here, which is really nice. Right. Pop this. Very useful. Um, stomps multiple times. I do not think I want that. I also still don't really know how the stored battery things work. I need to do some research into how to utilize those correctly, because I'm still not really using them very much. Um, and they're probably pretty good. I just don't understand them. 
Bloody scares me. Right. But yeah, we got a good amount of use out of all dice so far. A really good amount. Hey, Extra soul hearts. And, uh, wait a minute. Oh, no. I thought we were over the max amount of soul hearts then. Spiders are no longer a problem. There's our first of three hits. Just, just good to keep on counting those. Kind of count with them. That was a really bad play by me then. Could have gone for this button first. Much easier. We don't have a key for our item room or our shop right now, which is kind of a travesty. I'm going to do my boss straight off the bat here. I might lose this burn heart by staying in um, burn form here. I realize that's a bit of a gooberish move, but I'm going to do it anyways. First thing, sack makes this guy a little bit easier anyways. Okay, there you go. Oh, there's another burn heart. Wow. Getting lucky on the burn heart drops. Cat of Nine Tails. That is a fantastic resprite for Cat of Nine Tails, by the way. There's a lot of items that have been resprited in this mod that I didn't realize needed respriting. I wasn't really thinking about, oh, this would be cool if it got resprited, but damn, they're really good. I can't remember the mod's name now, but it's it's very cool. Okay, as I've said before, I don't actually have many of my resprite mods in my mod list because I have like a mismatch, um, my own mod pack made up of a bunch of different sprite mods. Uh, if, you, if anyone does want access to that, they'll have to like join my Discord where I can send them it. Uh, like package it up and send them it over like a Google Drive link or something. Because yeah, it's it's a, it's a bloody big mismatch of a bunch of different packs. There's loads of resprites in there from enemies to items to all sorts of other manner of things. So I apologize that I can't give direct links to the exact mods that each thing's coming from. I realize that's probably more preferable to most people. The good thing is though, one of the reasons I do that is because it reduces the amount of mods the game has to load. Therefore, meaning that, um, what's this? Tears up, for how many broken hearts you have. This is another one that I'll definitely re-roll and we get Guppy's tail out of it. Hell yes. Um, yeah, it means that the, the game has to load less mods, which reduces lag. So, it's one of the big reasons I do that, because I'd have so many graphical mods installed if I didn't do this. We haven't been to our shop yet. We've got plenty of keys now. I don't, I don't know where we got all these keys from. It's always weird that when I get into the flow of conversation and the commentary and I'm not really paying much attention to the game, I'm just kind of... This this game very much can autopilot for me now, now that I've got so many hours in it. Um, eh. It's a, it's, Cyber Bomb's not too bad, actually, because we don't really need batteries all too much. I, I don't mind that. Let's keep moving. Um, Yeah, you kind of autopilot and don't realise when you're picking up consumables and stuff. It's pretty weird. But yeah, Cyber, Cyber Bomb might be decent because we don't really need battery charges all that much. In fact, I don't know if he'll pick up the, um, the, what's it called? The battery thing that we got in the other room. Okay, so that's all three of our, um, free hits this floor gone now. Good to know. Yeah, will, will you pick this up? No, you won't. Acti activate to store charge from your active. Activate again to recharge an active item. Can be used to overcharge active items. Becomes corroded. Yeah. It's not super useful. I, I, I can see some interesting use cases, but for low charge items, I really don't see the point in using one of those. I'd rather just have an actual battery, but hey her. Carrots. Oh, also, yeah, he gets um, he gets a charge. If your active's full when you complete a room, he actually gains a charge. So he can still give us stuff regardless. And here we get Taurus. I'm I'm definitely not interested in. I'm going to reroll that into typeset. God damn, we've got a, a bunch of good rerolls in so far. Really have done very well with our rerolls. Nothing we've gained has been super good. I'd say Baby, Baby Pluto is probably the best one we've gotten thus far. Um, but... It's all been much more valuable than the thing that we we, we would have got otherwise, so I'm pretty happy with it. Keep going. I'm gonna bash this run out pretty fast, I think. This seems like a fairly quick run so far, even with the uh, backtracking and all that sort of good jazz. We do have the gambling guy. Um, I don't think we need to gamble anything, I'll be honest. That guy is kind of useful if you have a low amount of stuff that you're willing to risk. When you have a higher amount of stuff, I don't think it's as good. This is definitely not the boss to be fighting with um, Mila. But it worked out. 
And you know what? I'm going to take the left hand. I think at this point, the left hand is going to be pretty darn useful. And it's, it's, it's one of those ones that I feel like I don't get to use very often anymore. I don't really get the opportunity to uh, work with the left hand as much. Okay, there's one of our hits. I don't know how many Cyber, uh, cyber Buddy needs to pay out, I'll be honest. Rerolls all pedestal items. Okay, we can try that out if we need to. Guy buffs everyone around him. Get some Mini Isaacs. I love the fact that Mini Isaacs use burns when you're playing as this guy. Right. Fires off those Herming shots. He drops on a Moral Heart as well, which I don't actually think we need, so I'm not going to bother blowing that up to get that. What we got here? This is definitely a reroll. We, like I said, we're getting a lot of items that are worth rerolling right now. Rubber cement. While not very good with um with our like burn club, really fun to utilize when we're not using the burn club. One of my favorite items, in fact. We need something that's a bit more synergistic with it, really. First, rubber cement on its own doesn't really do much for me. But um, later down the line, it can be quite good. We've got the champion version of the Bat Boss. That's another one. So we've got one more hit this floor free. If you get this thing plus Holy Mantle, you're basically invincible. Ooh, and there's our last hit gone. we got him dead there. Chocolate bar's really good. I think we probably want to take Perfection, I'll be honest. Although, Immaculate Heart's pretty nice here. Although, th thinking about it, let's take it at the end of the floor, because we don't have any free hits left on this floor. So, we, if we get hit on this floor, we could lose it. Whereas next floor, we've got a bit of protection against losing it. I don't know where these, um, these, these orbital burns are coming from. I think that's from a Mortal Heart. Keys will drop more often. Let's just pop that now. I see you there. Ooh, Soul Heart there. I know it's not super useful, but I'll take it. Got a lot better at spotting those Mimics now. I did get hit there for a full heart. Whoopsie daisy. We got Ballot here. I still don't know why Ballot is a quality 4. I'm going to re-roll it. I think, it's, I think it's a decent item, but I, I just... I can't fathom why it's quality 4. I think it should be like quality 2. Like, it's nice to be able to choose your boss, but in most situations, at least in my opinion, it doesn't overall change much about your run. Okay, we did lose a burn heart there. Convite this one red heart, con heart container into a burn heart. We gained rubber cement again, <laughs> which I don't actually know what that does. I'm surprised. That, 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 that must be pretty rare, so I don't really know how we manage that. Um, but yeah, I don't actually know what that does for us. Bunch of spiders. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what having rubber cement times two does for us, if anything. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, secret room first, actually, maybe? I'd like to say it's here. Damn it. Um, probably underneath the dice room, right? Oh, it could be here, actually. There you go. Bit of extra money there. More money. More money. Honestly, just, just, just because it, it satisfies me to blow them all if I have to try that guy as well. Right, let's take perfection and get the hell out of here. Right, nothing we want to reroll on this floor, is this? so we don't need to use the floor room. And I think we're just about out of here. Give me that perfection It We might lose it, and we might, we might regret losing out on the left hand, to be honest. But, personally, I think we're, um, we're going to have a better time. Ooh, we did get the, uh, the triple curse room. The triple cast floor, should I say. There's a, a bug 
with the Blessings mod, where sometimes when you get Curse of Conquest, it gives you Curse of Conquest as well as two other curses, as you can see. So this is like an ultra hard floor, where you get three curses at once. I think we have the one where rocks regenerate, the one where enemies can revive, and the one where enemies can become champions. Oh, that's not great. We actually lost... Lead pencil's pretty good. We actually did lose um, our our joke, our, our thingy um, perfection on getting hit, regardless of the fact that it's not a real hit, which is something I wasn't expecting to see, but hey, her. I'm trying to pop this right here. Why not? Um, Rerolls items in the room into items from devil or angel item pools. Has a small chance to convert items in the room into holy or devilish themed Heart chests. Hearts or chests. Okay. He's decent enough. Oh, we did find the room as well. Nice. And it was Champion Belt. I really have nothing uh, bad to say about Champion Belt. We get a Zealot Heart here. I'll definitely take that. Zealot Hearts are actually insanely valuable on uh, this character. Because we can't, we can't lose um, Soul Hearts unless we choose to. So, very, very valuable. But yeah, we still do get to keep some of the, um, we get to keep some of the benefit currently from uh, Perfection, because we have a reworked Perfection that actually has tiers to it now. So we, we still have plus six luck at the moment. It's not a complete loss. Oh, damn it. Okay, now we're only on plus two luck. So that ain't going so hot. Yeah, I didn't think it'd, we'd still lose perfection this way, but I guess I can't really complain. I would like to go to the cash room, but I'd rather keep my Zealot Heart, to be honest. Zealot Heart is not... They're not super important, but they can be very good, because it gives you a, a random Lemmergate and Wisp. You can get some good stuff out of that. We are seeing, obviously, a quite lot of champions here. I do kind of like this triple cast floor, though, even though it is a bug. It does add some, some difficulty. It would be nice to see a mod that allows the game to roll more than one curse at a time, to be honest. Well, that scared me then. <laughs> the clotty. Uh, cause all enemies to periodically fight tears. Eh, that's not so good. I don't know where we're going to end up using our uh, misprinted joker. I haven't really decided yet. I'd like to use it in an item room that has more than one item in it. Ow. So we've, we've lost perfection fully now, unfortunately. That just is, that is as it is. Oh, hello. I didn't see you down there. Squeezy is... Hmm. Sque I'll take Squeezy just for the fire rate, but I don't need the uh, thingies. Um, I don't need the soul hearts at all. But these guys these guys are going to be ones that I just use regular tiers for, because they're going to blow up in their major way. Oh, there you go. Options. I'm going to re-roll options. We get 3D glasses, which I'm pretty happier with. This is Dank Depths 1, so let's just do the boss straight away. Oh, we got this guy. I love this guy as a boss. Now, we may have to use our other version here, which because staying really close to him is a bad idea. But we're doing good enough damage that we might be able to get away with it. It's just when he starts spawning his uh, football helmeted boys. Now, we managed to get away with it before he did that. Nice. Mr. Dolly is great for range and tier, so we'll definitely take... And I think we've got a little bit more of the floor to explore here. Floor to explore. Still not seeing no use for our misprinted joker so far. We do have restock as well, which I kind of forgot about. Lots of champions. Which leads to some more interesting combat. I really like the fact that we got lead pencil because it gives some use to our rubber cement and immaculate um, conception. Or whatever. Not, not immaculate heart, is it called? 
Okay, we have caused a little bug here that will persist throughout the entire run. You see these little grates? These will never disappear now. They'll, they'll appear in every single room like this. It's a bit of a bug. Um, I think we want to pick up Humbling Bundle. I think we want to pick up this as well. I think we want to pick up Charge Baby as well. That was a very good shot. Ooh, I'd like the Curse thing there as well. And Lawn Darts is pretty decent, I think. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit of bug with the 3D glasses. If you hit these enemies specifically with it, the uh, the grates, they don't ever do anything. They're just charmed and in the room forever. A little bit, it's a little bit interesting. We've got a lot of the floor that we haven't seen yet. We should probably go and check it out. I'll come back to this room because it's on the way back. But there's just potential for some decent rooms over here. Although I know the potential isn't super high. Like, that one's not great. Although, that's a disc. We could maybe go get that. Oh, my battery bum wants that battery. I'll let him go get that. Why not? But yeah, the battery baby plus the cyber bum could work in tandem pretty nicely together. I still don't know, like, when or how this guy exactly pays out. He seems to be taking quite a lot of charges and not giving me anything in return. But I maybe just misunderstand how he pays out. He might not pay out the way that I assume he does. Which is fair enough. Fair enough? Fair enough. Need to be careful because we're pretty much out of keys at this point. Oh, hello. Throw us anything for me. We do get a tainted treasure room here. Unfortunately, we do not have the keys to enter it. I'm trying to see what of our items would be uh, usable, but I'm just going to ignore it for now because we don't have the ability to go in there anyways. And we'll see what our Zealot Heart ends up paying out with. Hopefully something nice. I didn't actually check before I started my run-up if uh, the Repentance Plus thing had reset my unlocks again. It had. Wow. So annoying. Boom. It's very frustrating that it does that. Right. Let's jump on down, shall we? And see what we end up getting from our Zealot Heart. See if we get a, a nice Lemma Get and Wisp here. We... Didn't get one. <laughs> Which I'm assuming is because we didn't go down as this character. What the hell? What's this tiny little ghost following me? Oh, it's a mini Isaac ghost, I see. Okay. Error on my behalf there. Um, basically what I did there is um, you need to make sure your active character when you leave the floor is the um, one with the Zealot Heart. Otherwise, it won't it won't work. Ow. One hit gone. Good to know, though. Good to know. Ooh, the te we got a lot of teal-colored guys in here. I'm pretty sure the teal-colored guys, yeah, mean we can't hit anything else. So we've got a lot of priority targets right now. There you go. We had to take some damage for it. I love the fact that this guy's glowing and throwing out coins as he runs. That's very on theme for that type of enemy. Definitely having a hard time. I've taken all three of my free hits this room. Oh, he did pay out with a trinket eventually. Oh, we can reroll trinkets with this active as well, I think. By the looks of it. Did not know that. It at least implied that there. Seeing a lot of these new champions. Do of these immoral hearts. I don't really want to take them, to be honest. They're not super valuable to me. Especially when you have multiple. The more you have of them, the worse they get, kind of. On a regular run, at least. Right. Keep moving back on. This way was a bit of a dead end for us. I think we're doing pretty well on fire rate and stuff, though. Like to open this now. Hey, Tiny Horn. I love him. What a best bud he is. I love Tiny Horn. Firing off his little balls of fury. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. I was like, where the hell's this other guy? And he's just in the sky. Um, chance to fart. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent considering we're going to be close to enemies all the time. Still not found a good use for the misprinted joker yet. Because that, that room there was kind of good. But the item itself is actually good enough. Um, I guess I'll take Broken Murder. Why not? I was thinking, nah, I've got Typeset, but Typeset doesn't seem to be triggering all that often. Whereas Broken Murder will always be active. A little bit better off for us. Yeah, I gotta say, we're gonna be close to enemies all the time, so the farting effect is actually pretty darn useful. Definitely creates some very, very intriguing combat here, especially with enemies that that, that put creep on the ground. I le okay, I legitimately can't get over to that guy. There you go. I got him. Very tricky indeed. Greedy glasses are doing some good stuff. Is that not everything? Oh, there's a bunch of you over here. What? You've been chilling over here this whole time. What the hell? Okay, let's not lose a burn heart here if we can help it. I should have just gone back into that room I was just in to make sure I don't lose a burn heart. Idiotic me. Emperor card, doesn't really matter. Wait, what does the thingy Emperor do? I can also not defeat grants one soul heart as well. That's not too bad. Right, let's quickly go over and get some of these red hearts. <laughs> Brooker murder makes makes runs look so fucked. Like walking into this room and nothing reacts. It just looks so weird. Also, I, I'm, I'm slightly confused why Tiny Horn doesn't move anymore. I've definitely got some really messed up stuff happening with my familiars. Wicked Soul's amazing. If we got a curse, we gain. I think it's if we've got a curse, we gain stats. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, like my familiars just don't seem to be following things correctly. My flies are following the wrong stuff. My familiars aren't moving in the right direction. Some of them, the AI is just not working at all. It's been an ongoing problem for a few days now. If anyone has any inkling as to what the hell is happening, please do let me know, because I really don't know. Love doing stuff like that. You're teal, but you only work while you're open. So many keys, what the hell? Okay, Mum's here now. And I think I'm just going to take the Polaroid here. Still haven't used my misprinted Joker yet. I might not get a good opportunity to use it. I might just end up using it on the next boss item and see what happens. We'll see. Good, good, good. Lead Pencil is really helping out a ton with our tier effects. Just enabling them to, to be usable. That was a really stupid hit there. I just kind of walked into that one. I wonder if these new champions have any additional chance of appearing, because they seem very common. Definitely not complaining for now while they're new, though. Like I said, it adds something different to combat. Don't need all those extra bombs or anything. That was close. <laughs> I just rushed in there and hoped for the best. Like that. Ooh, Binky's decent. Size down isn't great, but the tier rate up is pretty substantial, so I'll take it. The farting's so funny. Double sacks. Booyah. Holy. Oh, we got a Baleful Heart here. Um, I don't remember exactly how the Baleful Hearts work, I'll be honest. 
If it doesn't tell us, let's just take it and hope for the best. Yeah. Take on the boss. It's Mr. Fred, which apparently this guy got a rework, so I'm gonna chill out. Okay, so that's obviously one of the reworked attacks. I'm, I'm in- oh, we just spawn ghosts every now and again, I see. This guy's got like a turny attack now. He's got new animations and everything as well. I'm just gonna sit back and watch for a little bit here. A rework Mr. Fred is a really good idea, because he's a very boring boss normally. He can jump now? Okay. Interesting. I wonder if leaving these guys alive does anything. So you can move around the stage a little bit more now, which is certainly intriguing. Let's get into lower HP and see if he does anything at lower HP. Definitely got some more unique attacks now. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he's probably got another one or two attacks we haven't seen yet mixed in there, because I'd imagine the, the creep shot that he used to have is still part of his kit somewhere down the line. That's a really cool attack. Broken Murder definitely makes it look a little bit fucky, but yeah, really, really cool rework of this boss. Props to you guys. Very cool. Um, don't exactly know how this will work, but I'm going to gamble. Okay, it gave three broken hearts to the right one. Good. Um, and then this, I'm just going to take the HP up, I'll be honest. And I think we should get the hell out of here now. But yeah, really cool rework of Mr. Fred. Definitely some more difficult attacks. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if the actual creep attack or something similar is gone completely. I'd imagine somewhere in there there was an attack that I didn't see. Oh, for God's sake. Two hits already. Two of my free hits already used. Oh, three of my free hits. They're all dying. I forgot to use my Zealot Heart correctly again. That's a lot of pills, my dude. <laughs> I just love how Tiny Horn's just chilling at the door. Letting the world go by. Yeah, some someone, someone's mod is obviously, like, destroying. Absolutely destroying the, um, the controller for familiars. Just, they just do not obey their orders it, it, it feels like on pokemon when you get a when you get a pokemon that's too high level and you haven't completed the gym yet so it just disobeys you all the time that's what that's what this feels like right sadly all the wrong way thus far But at the minute, I'm uh, I'm doing some mega backlogging of Isaac episodes because um, the new Call of Duty is coming out. Um, like, the multiplayer is coming out on the 28th, and it's currently the 25th. And don't know what this does. More different hearts. Um, I would very much like to uh, play the hell out of it. Because I haven't really dug my teeth into a Call of Duty since Black Ops 4, which is a good few years ago now. And I really, really enjoy... When a multiplayer of Call of Duty comes out, just absolutely binging the ever-living shit out of it. Um, it's been a, a favourite pastime. Normally get a good few months. Ooh, lost contact. We'll take that. Normally get a good few months of just um, going absolutely ham. Ham. Going ham on um, a, a Call of Duty multiplayer. Just for one, I'm, I'm usually pretty good at them. Like I play a decent amount of Warzone and I used to play a decent amount of multiplayer. So I'm usually pretty good at them, so it's usually quite fun. Um, but then also on top of that, uh, I just, yeah, it's been it's been a good while. And it's something a bit different. Obviously, I'll st still be doing YouTube and everything. I won't be doing YouTube on Call of Duty, because I don't think anyone on my channel would care. Ooh, what the hell? Look at this little dippy boy. I have considered before, like, I am going to boot up a second channel at some point. Probably when I hit 10k, um, I've, I've been considering it for a while now and it's just been something I haven't really got around to, so I'm probably just going to leave it until my 10k mark. Boot up a second channel that's specifically for uploading stuff that me and Nevernamed play that isn't like the regular series stuff, so like if me and Nevernamed end up playing, um, end up playing like 
more Half-Life games, stuff like that. See, these, these, these are where these sort of rooms fall apart. Um, the teal-coloured boys. I love the farts. I told you they'd be useful. Um, yeah, if me and Evan have never played them sort of games, just to not flood the main channel with them. Um, I like it to a second channel, but then also just have it as a second channel where I just upload games that I like. For example, I really want to play Red Dead Redemption 2, like just casually in my free time. I I've played a little bit before, but I've never finished it. And I, I want to I wanna play it like casually in my free time. But then I'm like, like if I'm playing it, why not just record it? Oh, damn. Um, but then also it's kind of like, well, I don't want to upload it to the main channel because it will, for one, that then I'll need a proper thumbnail for it. And I'll have to pay my artist to make one, which I don't, um, I don't care about doing, to be honest. He deserves every penny. But also, like, I don't want to flood him with random games and stuff, so you know what I mean? Um, so, like, I want a channel where I can just kind of dump stuff and then also not have an upload schedule, too. I I'd like a channel where I can, like, ha have, like, a Red Dead Redemption playthrough or something, sim some other similar games, but one where I'm not obligated to upload it every whatever day. It'll be a channel that's very sporadic uploads. Like, some days I might upload a video every day to it when I'm playing the game a lot, and sometimes it might be a month until the next video. It just depends on what I'm doing in my life. And that, that'll that basically be, like, kind of like a bin channel. <laughs> It'll be a channel that I just throw shit on with not a ton of effort put into the thumbnails, and the videos will be very sort of long form, probably long recordings, broken up into, like, hour sections. What the hell's going on with these flies? I don't know. Yeah, and uh, I, I really want to do that. I think that'd be fun. It means I could play a bit more variety of games without flooding the main channel. I would very much like to do that, so... Being a plan that I've had in my mind for a little while, I've got a little bit of an idea of how I'm going to do like the thumbnails and stuff, because, like I said, they're not going to be ones with custom characters like the main channel gets. Um, but I do have... A custom character turtle melon that I've used for previous things that I think could work quite well. Um, and yeah, it just, I think this would be kind of fun. I, I Obviously, I doubt it's going to get a lot of viewership. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it doesn't even reach a thousand subs. But it's just like, if I'm going to play it anyways, why the hell not? The commentary might not be as engaging as the main channel videos. But I don't know, if people would like that idea, then it then I might do it. It'd just be more of a chill sort of way of playing like, videos that are more meant for just going to sleep to. <laughs> just because it's videos and games and stuff that I would have been playing anyways, sort of thing. Anyways, we're going to leave off the run. Oh, wait, no. we got another floor left. Yeah, I'm stupid. Um, Yeah, so please do let me know what you think of that idea. Obviously, I'll be taking all of these. Um, Undefined is a big no for me right now. Doctor's Remote is also a big no. Speedball... Isaac's heart, fantastic. Actually, it's not bad with this this setup because I can get in enemy's face a little bit easier. I'm gonna get hit a lot more though. Apparently, I could misprint this here. We got a black out of one of them, and then too spooky out the other. Change it into Willow. Too spooky probably would have been a good idea, but I don't want enemies running away from me all the time. It seems annoying. What the hell's going on right now? I'm confused. Yeah, just push into enemies as hard as I can. Keep Isaac's heart behind me. That's the way to go, I think. Rooms like this is where the new champion type really starts to mess up and cause issues. When there's one of those teal champions or a few of them in a group of an insane amount of enemies, it can get real confusing real fast. I like all the weird types of hearts that we've got going right now. We've got a zealot heart, we've got a baleful heart, or oh, we had a baleful heart, we've got a soiled heart, we've got an iron heart, whatever that one is. Freezer baby's decent here. Got a lot of different hearts going, and I like that. It's fun. Why I wish the unlocks would work. 
would actually stick. I told the developer about it again, just in, like, I don't want to force them to like work extra hard to get it done. If they don't have time for it, they don't have time for it. But I just want to keep it on their radar that it's an issue that probably everyone's having right now, most likely. Pushing through. A Skolex. I, I, I didn't realize it was real Skolex. I thought it was one of the little baby ones. I was a bit confused for a minute. So much farting going on. been the wrong way quite a few times now. Also, yeah, our Soiled Heart is really doing a very good job of uh, creating an inordinate, an inordinate amount of dips right now. Once a Newman's Revenge, yes, we rolled it into Fruitcake. God damn, this has been the run for old dice, hasn't it? I, love, I just love the fact that old dice is very, very, very strong, but it has the potential to screw you. Like, I got Isaac's heart. Like, for me, I don't really care because I like Isaac's heart and I'd take it anyways. But a lot of people hate it. So, it's got the potential to ruin you. Why is this foot still attacking me? That was confusing. Iron bar. <laughs> Make sure we just have the health there. Thank you. Went literally every which wrong way we could possibly go. We're not done yet? How are we not done yet? Oh my god, there's another wave of these fuckers. Whoa! Baby Pluto, what was going on with you there? Flush. We'll come back for you, Flush. And I just love the idea of being able to reroll actives into passives. So nice. Eve's Mascara, that's a lot of damage we just gained. E. coli, Teddy Touch. Teddy Touch is really good with Isaac's heart, so definitely not upset about that. I do not like this room at all. Is that it? No? I'm confused. How do I escape this eternal hell? There's a few of the enemies that won't die. Oh, it's because I 2D'd the... I used the 3D glasses on them and it bugged them out. Heck. As you can see, there's three of the brains around, and there's four. And there's exactly... Oh, there's only three of them. I'm, I'm confused. But I can't get out of here until these things die, so... I've just got to kind of wait around until the timer expires, haven't I? Tis what it is, I guess. Tis what it is. One second. I'm going to reply... While this is going, I'm going to reply to uh, the dude. Oh, it pauses the game whenever I do that. I'm going to have to reply to him after. Fuck's sake. Okay. The doors will open eventually, I think. I can't remember how long it is until the doors open now. Like it's quite some time. Oh, 
I'll just chill out for a bit. Got my phone, I guess. <laughs> see what's what. See what's going on the interwebs. We do have a temperance card in here, but doesn't really help us. I don't even know where it is. Wait, am I... Are these things hurting me? Apparently they are. Apparently I lost a burn heart. What the hell? Oh, oh, we have a way of killing them. What on earth is going on here? Huzzah! We tricked the game into letting us out because it wouldn't open the door. Thank God I didn't just wait around forever because it was not liking that. Yeah, Fruitcake helped me out there, I think. <laughs> the Wiz. Another chest. Finger, finger's pretty decent. Aquarius is also good. Okay, you have been bested, my good sir. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. Definitely an interesting one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.